Within this universe, there are many natural elements and forces at work. And in his search for truth and the betterment of his lot, man has uncovered gravity, the invisible anchor that keeps him safely bound to Earth, electromagnetic force, which he uses in industry, and atomic power, the explosion of an inconceivably tiny particle of matter, setting off similar explosions in other atoms, the energy of the atom. Scientists have long known about radiation, one of atomic energy's chief characteristics. Today, they can detect the amount of radioactivity present at a given time with many specialized instruments. One of these is the Geiger counter. See, what is that clicking? You must be radioactive. Hey, wait a minute, don't worry. You see, your watch has radiation, but it comes from the paint on the numbers that make it glow in the dark. Well, what do you know about that? I've been carrying radioactivity around with me and didn't even know it. <laughs> Of incalculable aid to man's physical well-being have been the discoveries of medical science in the field of radiation. The most recent medical research in radiation has produced a whole battery of radioactive medicines manufactured at Oak Ridge, Tennessee and sent to hospitals all over the country. Atomic weapons to save lives. And in the field of industry, advances in the use of radioactive substances are constantly benefiting man's search for newer and better methods of production. And we need every sheet of steel plate at exactly the critical thickness. No more, no less. How can you get a measuring device sensitive enough to show a variation of one ten thousandth of an inch without stopping production? We can use radiation. How? You station a radioactive substance at this point in the production line and pass the steel over it. Over the steel, you put a gauge to measure the amount of radiation coming through. Now, if the steel plate varies in thickness in one direction or another, the amount of radiation getting through to the gauge will vary, and that gauge will register the change. Looks as though you've beaten it, Bob. But what about the atom bomb? It has been stated that to speak of atomic energy in terms of the atomic bomb is the same as speaking of electricity in terms of the electric chair. It is true, however, that the energy which gives us the power to heal, the heat and light to make things move and grow, is the same energy released in the explosion of the A-bomb. To state and local governments falls the responsibility for action and cooperation within the limits of their own jurisdiction. The local air raid warden of World War II with his white tin hat will have a new, more specialized fellow worker, the radiological monitor or meter man. His job will be to determine the extent of contamination by radiation in atomic attack. The meter men will probably not use the Geiger counter because it is primarily for sensitive measurements. Their basic instruments of detection will be ion chambers, which accurately measure larger amounts of radiation. In addition, the community civil defense unit will set up attack warning devices, suitable shelter in case of emergency, emergency communication centers, adequate firefighting equipment, hospital and first aid facilities. Every person has heard some of the rumors and old wives' tales of this atomic era. Who's been giving you this information? Well, the boys down the plant... Been you know there's a limit to what this A-bomb can do. You ask me if a flash from an atomic bomb could blind everybody. Of course not. If you look directly at the burst in bright daylight, you might not be able to see for a few minutes. At night, it might last for an hour or two. But. In either case, it would only be temporary. Now, as for the radiation of the bomb, the chances that it will change your ability to have children, or that it will affect any future children you might have, are less than one in a million. Radiation will not make a place uninhabitable for us, possibly temporarily. No, the atom bomb will not blow up the world. Then what will it do? The three ways in which an atom bomb does its work are no mystery. The first is flash or fire. The second effect is blast. These first two effects of the A-bomb are therefore but a tremendously magnified version of any simple explosive. It is the A-bomb's third effect that is entirely new to explosives, radiation or radioactivity. But this radiation can be stopped. For example, six feet of earth, three feet of concrete or a foot of steel all provide sufficient protection against radioactivity.
even very close to the center of explosion. Fire, blast, and radiation. These are the three effects of an atomic explosion which endanger man. You are given warning. If there is a designated shelter or a reinforced concrete building available, go to it without delay. But even at home, you can effectively defend yourself. Elsie, where are you? I'm closing off the upstairs. Good. Get down from there as soon as you can. Close all the windows, draw the blinds, and pull the drapes in front of them. That'll keep out fire sparks and glass splinters if the windows break. Close all the doors behind you, too. We've got to make this place practically airtight. Check everything here that might cause fire. Complete coverage is what you're after. The light colors reflect the heat and protect you from flash burns. It's better to wear coveralls because they're loose, and I can take them off and leave them outside in case they become contaminated. The heavier the cloth, the better the insulation. Elsie, you'd better pull the drapes on the windows back there. Joe, turn on the radio. What about Mrs. Canning, the aircraft spotter? Does she have to stay outside in this? She'll be spotting for planes, all right. And for people like her who have to stay outdoors in an emergency, heavy, loose-fitting, all-white clothing is the best protection. Follow instructions. Stand by. Very little time left. Since radiation travels in straight lines, I'd say the way I fix this corner of the basement gives us plenty of wall and earth and material between us and the possible military objective. We're well protected from the window, too. Yes, sir. Even if a bomb blew the house over, we'd have a pretty good chance here in the basement. The walls can never be too thick. Now, children, I... I want you to sit down here against the wall. That's it. Now, crouch tight up against it. Now, listen, kids. If they're dropping an atomic bomb, it may go off any second now. Whatever happens, I'll give the signal when it's all right for us to get up. If there's an explosion, we'll wait about a minute after it's all over. Then we'll go upstairs and take a look around, see if it's all right for us to clean up. This man has made good use of the time given him by warning. With calm and intelligence, he has employed the means of self-defense at his disposal. Thus, every man can greatly increase the chances of bringing his family and himself through any attack unscathed. But this man has an advantage, a well-protected cellar. If there is no basement in the neighborhood, seek shelter on the first floor of the house. An inner room with solid walls, with as many walls as possible between you and the probable target area. Get under a sturdy object. Table, desk, bed, close to the wall. If debris should fall, the two will provide good protection. The most important thing is to keep out of line with the windows and to close them off so that broken glass will not fly in. Lie down flat on your stomach. Cover your face with your right arm so that it is protected by your elbow. Grasp the back of your neck with your left hand. But wherever a substantial underground shelter is available, it provides the surest, safest possible protection against atomic attack. Defense Bulletin. This has been an air burst. All persons attached to civil defense groups report to your post immediately. Let's go, folks. Elsie, bring the blankets. We'll find out what happened to the windows. But what about the radiation? Well, this was an air burst, honey. If the radiation didn't get to us when the atomic bomb exploded, just about all the dangerous stuff is gone. It went straight up into the air. The terrific heat makes it do that. And I don't think we're close enough to ground zero for the radiation to have even touched us. Elsie, you'd better tack those blankets up around the windows so that we can keep the house warm. I'm going outside to see if the house has been damaged by fire. If we're all right, I'll have to check the neighborhood. But will you be all right? If there are any fires, honey, they're just ordinary fires, and we're supposed to help stop them. Children, you'd better clear up the broken glass and all this debris. All in all, I'd say we've been very lucky around here. Nothing to do now but wait for orders from the authorities and relax. I'd hate to have gone through this without warning. 
You are out in the open. Without warning, you are startled by an intense flash of light. You have seconds before the shock wave will hit you, before the debris starts flying. Hit the dirt. Get behind the nearest and best shelter. A ditch, a depression of any kind. But get down, flat on the ground, flat on your stomach. With your right arm covering your face, your left hand grasping the back of your neck. If you're out in the open in a built-up area, dive for the nearest concrete archway, the nearest and best shelter. Cover your mouth and nose with your handkerchief. It will help to keep out any possible radioactive dust. If you are blinded, it is only temporary. With the blast over, get out of the wreckage, remembering to keep as clean as possible. You're inside, perhaps in your own apartment when the flash occurs. You have seconds. Move toward the nearest doorway, corridor, or a stairway, or get under a bed or table, or get behind a couch or other large, heavy object. Are you all right, Mother? Yes. Alice, Alice, turn on the radio. Where's Buddy? I think he was out playing ball. Mother, pull the drapes and shield the windows with them. He must have been caught out there in the blast. Civil Defense Bulletin. The city has just undergone a surprise atomic attack. This was an air burst. Check for fires. Further bulletins are following immediately. Shouldn't we go out and look for Buddy? No. He's been heard disaster units will take care of him. If he's all right, he'll come home. Draw a pan full of water right away, Alice, and keep it covered. Won't it be radioactive? No. And, and don't take too much. Otherwise, you'll pull down the water pressure the firefighters need. I'd better go out on the fire escape and see whether any fires have been started. Mother, go downstairs and see if old Mrs. Simmons is all right. Fine, I'll go. But let me know just as soon as you hear what's happened to Buddy. Oh, Buddy's here. He's home. Buddy, tell me quickly, where were you when the bomb dropped? I was playing ball at the school diamond. I came home as fast as I could. I ran all the way. Are you all right? Oh, you're hurt. The school's closer to where the bomb exploded. Well, they get Buddy's clothes off, then take him into the bedroom and have him lie down immediately. Clean up any of the cuts or bruises and bandages. Boy, it was hot, Grandma. I never felt anything so hot. Buddy was much closer to the bomb than we were. Do you think he could have been exposed to prompt radiation? I'm afraid he was in the danger range. He shouldn't have exercised so much running home after the blast. <coughs> Corey, we've got to get him to a doctor. No, Alice, we're going to follow through, cleaning up the house just as if we hadn't been caught unaware. And as for Buddy, the best way to help radiation sickness is to lie down and rest until you get medical attention. If Buddy has heavy nausea within two hours, it means he may have gotten a dose of radiation. Oh my. I said may. And if he has sickness induced by radiation, isn't necessarily fatal. That's when we'll get him medical attention. Now we have work to do. What can I do? Oh, any of the food that was out in the open during the blast has to be kept separate from the rest. Then, as soon as we're notified to use the water, wash everything, cans of food, Pots and pans, the sink. But leave anything that you think might be contaminated to be tested later by the radiological crew. Wouldn't it be best to just get out of the city? No. If any evacuating is to be carried on, the proper authorities will decide it. We'll be notified and get orders and instructions. Right now, the safest place for us is right here. We're pretty lucky, Alice. Cement apartment house. No fires, not much blast, only a few broken windows. And chances are, buddy, will be all right. But if he isn't, doctors can help radiation sickness considerably by using whole blood. Don't worry, darling. This man, caught unaware, by acting quickly and sensibly, has minimized the danger to himself and his family from the after-effects of an atomic air burst. While most Americans need consider only the air burst in their plans for self-defense against the A-bomb, to people living on the shores of large bodies of water, the water burst brings additional danger. In the case of an atom bomb detonated underwater, there is hardly any danger from flash. There is still danger from blast and its resulting debris, but the area of damage is small. But the severe danger is from radiation, lingering radiation. The radiation is trapped in the water, and the heat and blast cause the water to rise. Then it falls, causing mist, which emits radiation wherever it falls. Civil Defense Bulletin. This has been a water burst. Stay inside, or get inside, and wait for further instructions from your local civil defense authorities. We aren't even going to budge for about an hour. 
After that, we may have to wait another 24 hours before we even think about going outdoors. That radioactive mist will settle on everything, contaminate everything it touches. The rule is, keep away from the moisture. And stay as far away from radioactive mist and water as you can. That's right, son. Well, then, we'd better go upstairs and fix the living room windows. They're probably broken, and the moisture will get to us that way. No, stay put. We've taken every precaution to defend ourselves against radiation already. If we move to unprotected parts of the house now, we may get a bad dose of radiation. So we'll stay put for at least an hour. What if we were outside, Dad? Then we'd get inside quickly. And behind enough material that would absorb the radiation before it got to us. stacking this blanket for me, will you? Sure. And when you're finished, you'll have to wash your hands thoroughly. I think I got a little breeze just now. A nice, cool breeze of radioactive mist. Now, folks, watch while I give a demonstration of how to defend yourself against lingering radioactivity. First, you remove all the clothing you think might be contaminated. Then you scrub every part of you that you think might be contaminated. Once, twice, and again. You think you've got it bad, Dad? No, I don't think so, son. But if I have, I'm not going to have it bad very long. That's the whole idea of this scrubbing. If you get a little radiation, don't let it stay with you long enough for it to build up its dirty work. Because that's one way radiation can make you sick. If a little of it gets to you and stays with you long enough, it can do almost as much damage over a long period of time as one big dose all at once. If you're radioactive right now, Daddy, does that mean that we can catch it from you? No, Meg, I've got it all to myself. Do you think we'll be all right, Jim? Elsie, we've taken every precaution to lock that radiation out already. If it doesn't get to you right away, it starts to die. It may linger for a while, but it does die. And we can wait it out. We've got all the time in the world. This man knows that his best defense against lingering radioactivity is patience, calm patience. In a water burst, the odds are with the man who stays put. But what about the H-bomb? The hydrogen bomb, though it might be 1,000 times more powerful than the atom bomb, would only cause damage over a radius 10 times as great, and the damage would be similar in kind. Hence, the principles of self-defense against the H-bomb would not change from those of the A-bomb they would become more vital. Some of the scenes you have just seen have deliberately been made slower in order to bring home to you what precautions might be taken under ideal circumstances. When the alert is sounded, of course, you might not have time to do all of these things. Most important is to take cover in the basement, the center of a building, or in a doorway if you're in the street. Meanwhile, remember that civilian defense is everybody's business. All over the world today, powerful forces are at work for the preservation of international peace. It is the hope of civilization that the harnessed power of the atom will work for the good of mankind.